This is going to be part two to the taxiway markings and wear tutorial series. So here we are, we got um, 4096 by 4096 uh, texture setup in GIMP or image. And uh, we'll go ahead and let me see here. I need to find I need to find something real quick. I probably should have found this sooner or before I started recording, but let's see. What we are going to start doing is creating some tar cracks. I need to find the right. That looks like the one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Okay. And what we're looking for is this right here. So you can see all these cracks in this. Um, Actually, it's pretty. Look, look, looks like a pretty uh, <laughs> worn taxiway. And also over here, quite a view, actually. So, actually, what I'm going to do is start uh, scaling this layer. So, in fact, maybe even a better idea, because this is a large image that does use a lot of memory. I'm going to try and cut it off first. So, move it off to the side here, then layer. Uh, uh, let's see. I want just I just want this part, so I'm just gonna say layer crop to selection. There we go. I'm going to then go ahead and scale this again. All right, and we'll set the height to the height of our image, 4096. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and crop to selection again. Just trying to get this thing in place here. All right, now again we'll scale it. All right, at the height of forty ninety six, and that looks pretty good. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Move that to our corner here. Really should have some guides down here. Maybe I'll put a, a couple. Let me go ahead and add a guide right there. And one right there. Okay. So what this image is for is basically just to have a kind of a reference um, so we can kind of get the pattern and the tar cracks as realistic as possible. But we won't really use this image for the tar cracks, it's just a kind of a reference thing. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and go to CG textures real quick. And I'm looking for some some wear textures. I was hoping to find some tar cracks. Uh not guaranteed that I'll find any though. This can be kind of uh, neat here if you want to add sort of a kind of towards more probably more towards the edge. You want to add a little more grass coming out of the cracks. It can be a pretty neat uh, texture, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. And in fact, there's nothing here that I'm looking for. So, I'll tell you what, we're just going to do it by hand here. So, let's find a crack here and now there's, I don't know, there's, you could just follow it with a brush. I'm going to try following this with a path first and if this doesn't work too well I'll try it differently, try a different way of doing it but try this first. We create a new layer okay Make sure there's an alpha channel on that. And let's go to our whoops, don't want to do that, did we? Let's go back to our paths tab here. Path tool, there we go. Get back to our path. Recreate that layer that I accidentally 
undid. Okay. What we need to do though is go to edit stroke to path or stroke path. Line width. We need to start to decide that. I'm gonna start out with setting this to pretty small, couple, two or three pixels. And I'm going to try and emulate that, I think, and see what happens. And not quite what I wanted. So again, we'll go over here, stroke path. Let me go ahead and do a stroke line. And let's see. Okay, that's better, actually. But I want it to be even smaller. A lot smaller. So, layer whoops, edit, stroke path, solid color, and maybe set to one. But this is, this is just the crack. This isn't going to be the tar yet. This is just the crack. And now we'll make a new layer, and then we'll make the tar. So, we'll do basically the same thing. We'll say stroke path, probably set this to about 5 and then say stroke and that looks pretty good maybe it might be a little small we'll make it slightly larger so select grow stroke path make it 7 alright that's better and then I just want to bring down the pace of that a little bit. But I want to leave this inner uh, quite dark. And let's uh, whoops. And I want to add a nice edge here to this tar. So I'm thinking anyway. So I need to add a new tab here brushes. There we go. Oh, not the right one. Add tab tool options. That's probably what we want. Um, oh, there it is right here. Move that over here. Okay, we're going to put this scale down. And maybe even what I'll do now is redo this stroke here. So I'm going to go back to my uh, path here and then say path tool. Right click and say path tool. To get our path back and then say select uh, or edit stroke path. Okay, and that looks like it's better. Maybe a little bit harder edge. I can't. I can't really tell but I want this edge to be pretty pretty sharp. Okay, so we got one. <laughs> I'm gonna try doing something trying to add more paths at once maybe here. So create a path. Is that the path tool? Yeah there it is. No, that's a select tool. Uh, there it is. Okay. Let's see what happens if you hold down shift. Ah, okay, so you hold down shift. Then you can start a new line here. And then I'm going to hold down shift again. Start a new line. Right here, it's pretty straight. Okay, and then we'll start a new line.
Of course, I have a bunch more, but we'll just leave it at this. This is all we need. That's more than enough <laughs> for a tutorial. All right. Make a new layer. And uh, again, stroke path. Set the width first down to 1. Okay, then we'll make a new layer on top of that. Uh, edit, stroke path, set this one to 7, and say stroke. And we'll just bring down the opacity of that a little bit. Alright, that's looking pretty good. And let's go ahead and get out of the path tool. Now, what I'm going to start doing now, I'm just going to start experimenting with different filters and stuff because it still looks kind of, you know, <laughs> looks like you did it in Microsoft Paint or something. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, scale this layer up. Of course, we'll take note of how much we scaled it by. In fact, let me say this to, uh, uh, what, what would that be? 90 plus 980, 192, so 89192. Double the size. And then, better move this over. Alright, that was definitely a necessary scaling because it's definitely a lot sharper now. I'm going to say layer to image size. And we'll do that for the rest of these layers here before long. But I want to keep experimenting with this one. Let's see here. Looking for generic. I mean, just try anything. We can try that. You see it takes a while to process some of these. Probably longer with the recorder going. Okay, so that effect finished and actually left something I'm actually kind of liking. Let's see. So the question is what I want to do about it. <laughs> Um, let's see. I was thinking of coming through with a brush now, a paintbrush. Um, of course on a new layer. I just almost always create a new layer if I'm ever doing something different to the texture. Unless I just want to modify that layer itself. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give this just a little bit of color tone kind of towards the brown gray side of things but it's going to be quite dark I mean, just slight and that's probably too dark but let's see there that might be about right yeah okay I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not but we'll find out here and in fact what I'm going to do I'm going to apply just a little jitter so right here under the dynamic options. Okay. Let me set it to about eight, nine, maybe ten. That's about right. Maybe just slightly more. Alright, we'll we'll live with it. I'm gonna go just follow this by hand, really. That's what I think I'm gonna do. If you really want good tar. Um, you can get it outlined with the path tools, but you really, you know, do something by hand because else you're going to lack in quality. OK. 
Okay, now I'm um, before I you know draw the whole thing out here, I'm gonna make sure this is what I wanna do. And that is actually starting to look pretty good. That's what I want. Alright, so I am going to keep doing that. In fact I'll leave the pacey down. And I got the cat here bothering me. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Really liking the way this is looking. Let me keep following these. And of course, I won't make you sit through this whole thing. I'll fast forward the video here. Okay, I got all those cracks covered now. Or almost. <laughs> Let's better get this here. There we go. That's looking actually better. And that's pretty much the idea, is to keep playing around with stuff. I mean, until you find something you want. And this, I'm going to leave the center pretty dark here. Okay, so, now we need to find, figure out, you know, what do you add a little more detail to some of this or something. Like right here on the edge, like this can be probably on the edge of the taxiway. So, I'm actually going to look at CG textures here. And I'm going to go back to that. Hopefully I'm logged in, I'm not sure if I am or not. I'm going to grab this texture right here. Alright, I'm going to log in here. Give me a second, guys. Okay, got that downloaded. So I'm going to add this to our GIMP here. And, uh, I'll move this to the top so I can see it. All I'm interested in is this grass here. So maybe freehand select is what we'll use. You know, maybe not. Maybe I'll try select by color first. And just click it here numerous times. Okay, that might get us somewhere. I'm going to control C to copy that. Go back to the layer so I see what happens here. To new layer. I'm going to hide this layer now. That worked pretty good. That's all we really need. And I'll move this layer to the side. Whoops, wrong layer. This layer here. And then I'm just going to copy the part that I want here. I probably want this part. Uh, yeah. I'm going to control C, control V to new layer. And that looks good. I'm going to move it over here. And then we're going to say layer, scale layer, of course. And we're going to scale this way down. That might be too small, but nope, about right. And layer, cherry rotation. We'll probably fit this to the crack pretty well here. Okay. And now I want to come through the eraser. Alright, and just kind of erase quite a bit of it. Bring down the pace of the eraser a little bit. And just kind of blend it in here. I'm hoping that will give the effect of a little grass popping up in, your t in the crack there. Let's see. From distance, that doesn't look too bad, actually. And that's probably about the perspective that you're going to have. It's fairly distant. Let's see. i got to figure out what this layer is. Let's see. Uh, 
Okay, and I'm just looking to edit this texture a little bit here. In fact, what I might do is select by color. Okay. And I'm looking to just change things up a little bit. I'm going to create a new layer. And this is really how you, I mean, if you're doing a, just a texture completely from scratch, and granted, this is probably, you know, I really, if I could help, I would be doing this uh, with some sort of photoreal texture, but I'm just, I'm just running over my brush here with black on a new layer, of course. Don't want to be doing this on our good layer, because this is just experimental. But what I'm trying to do is break up the color a little bit. Alright, and now I'm going to take this smudge tool, up the size, okay, there. I'm also running over this, run the smudge tool over just about once. Um, like that. Okay, keep doing that over here. That actually looks pretty good. It kind of breaks it up. It's 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 very it's pretty slight, but it I think it's gonna help. Okay. And then We'll kind of make sure we make sure we have most of these lines fairly smudged. Now let's say filters, noise. I just want to add a little more just kind of texture to this. Ah, oh, okay. Whoops. I'm gonna keep doing that now. Repeat. Okay. And we probably need to undo that a few times here. There we go, now it's back up here again. Good. If you, if you, if you do repeat noise too many times, then sometimes parts of the layer will disappear. Um, I'm going to bring down the opacity of this now. And I actually want to duplicate my other layer here, this layer. I want to duplicate that one. I want to add a noise to that. Filters noise. HVS noise, we're going to bring the value way up here. Ah, very nice. Colors, hue, saturation. I want to bring the saturation down. I don't want this to be too colorized at all. And then I'll bring down the opacity. Okay. That's a little bit of texture. I'm going to say filters, blur, uh, I'll just do a regular blur, okay? Bring up the pace just a little bit now. So filters, I'm gonna blur it one more time. Okay. And that gives us even a little more variation. And, let's see. I'm thinking what needs to be done now is we need an even darker crack falling right here. And it's going to be really small, but let's see. If you really want good, I mean, again, if you want good textures, you just got to spend a lot of time on them. I mean, because, you know, you go. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to go ahead and follow that dark area. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure I'm doing this on a new layer, but I make sure. Okay, yeah. Sometimes I forget to create a new layer, and I find out I drew all this out, and it's not on a separate layer, so I can't change the opacity without without <laughs> changing the opacity of, a, of the layer I drew it on. And so it's like, oh geez, I gotta start over. So always make sure you draw things on a new layer uh, more often than not. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Okay. 
and I'll go ahead and stop the video here and <laughs> start recording again once I finish this. Okay, I got all those cracks filled in now. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the opacity down just a little bit. I mean, I want I want these to be fairly fairly dark, but but um, yeah. I mean, let's see here. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna sometimes having things selected like this hard makes things hard to see. Okay. That's looking pretty good. And then we'll the pace it at all these. And this Okay, I'm going to save this, and I'm going to export the image here, desktop, um, let's see here, I better save this to my folder, stay organized, okay, and then I'm going to open that. And then I'm going to copy this here, and then say Control C, Control V, set the pace of our original layer to zero, and then move this one where I want it. I want it to be place that it here in the top corner here. And then, if you wanted to, you could duplicate it, layer, transform, flip horizontally. Layer, transform, flip vertically, and set this right over here. Like so. And that creates pretty good uh, tar cracks there. We could experiment with the colors, hue, saturation, brightness, and contrast. So maybe lightness, maybe you want to bring it up a little more. It does seem a little dark. Saturation, do you want more color in it? Less. Um, let's see here. Brightness and contrast. Okay, and bring the brightness down. Yeah, all sorts of things you could do there. And again, you can even keep adding detail to it, but hopefully that kind of gets you started. Um, and then we'll get, of course, we'll get to mapping all these things. And GMAX. And in fact, I think I'll just leave this video as is and upload it, because this is a... It's fairly time-consuming. I don't want to make the videos too long, and we'll just have to make as many parts as we need to. All right. See ya.